and now indeed uh, for more than one day here and uh, I must say I'm impressed by uh, two things. Uh, first of all the hospitality of all the people I met so far uh, but also about the damage which uh, the, the hur hurricane has, has caused and not only the physical damage but you, you feel in the conversations with people that it's also the social damage, the uh, lack of uh, um, perspective um, which, which uh, happens and uh, you see uh, desperate people, uh, people who uh, really don't want to, or don't know how to, 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 to start in a new future. Um, you see uh, uh, politicians who are committed uh, to their country but at the same time uh, there are some political issues here which uh, differ uh, um, uh, the speed uh, and uh, we need to uh, to get as soon as possible uh, the relief uh, to uh, Sint Maarten. Uh, do not forget, the Dutch Parliament is very convinced, uh, um, I can say unanimously, on the need for uh, giving help to Sint Maarten. It's uh, also in the Netherlands seen as, a, of course, as part of the kingdom, but also as fellow citizens uh, uh, who need help and uh, uh, that you have to assist. So. Uh, there is a deep uh, concern and uh, also deep commitment uh, to help the people here. And that's my mission too. Uh, I'm uh, Secretary uh, uh, for Binnenlandse Zaken en Koninkrijksrelaties for only uh, four and a half weeks now. Um, and uh, in, in that time, uh, meanwhile, uh, I've been busy very much with the, the case of uh, Sint Maarten, the, the, the nasleep of the, of the hurricane. And, um, I'm committed to to have uh, on a short base, short notice, results here on the ground because I think that is what people need. Uh, not only uh, discussions on, on how complicated it is to organize something uh, um, uh, between uh, in, in arrangements between uh, the Netherlands government and the government of Sint Maarten, but also um, make it practically uh, show us the results. And uh, I can assure you, we do our utmost best to uh, deliver uh, together with. Uh, with the authorities here. I had a very good meeting uh, with the governor uh, and Chris was referring to it this morning. Uh, I had a lot of contact last week with the governor. I think he's the man I spoke most uh, by telephone except my wife. So that's an indication of uh, uh, how intense the contact uh, was. Uh, on my first uh, working day in The Hague uh, I met the governor already uh, together with Prime Minister Rutte. And, and, and I think that is one of the lessons, meeting people uh, looking each other in the eyes and uh, from that moment on working on a common goal. Uh, that's, that's what I want to achieve also this week. I'm meeting a lot of new people. I know the names of course. I've uh, read a lot about uh, most of them. But um, uh, uh, talking to each other and um, uh, shaking hands and um, uh, well discussing all issues. None of them is not discussed uh, frankly and open. That's the way I would like to, uh, to work together with, with the authorities here. And I felt on the other side uh, with the governor, but also with the new, very new uh, prime minister, uh, but also with the council of ministers where we had a meeting with, uh, uh, a common goal, a common will to, uh, to work together. And I think that that's one of the most, um, well, most important things so far. Uh, of course, this is a Kennismakingsbezoek, eh? it's, it's a visit to, to, to know uh, new people uh, and, and to uh, see with my own eyes how the situation is, but it's also uh, a fundamental basis for, for the upcoming years uh, to work together. So it's more than that. And um, well, in all the uh, meetings so far with uh, the governor, the prime minister, the council of ministers, uh, the speaker of parliament, I felt the same positive approach. And it seems maybe a little bit funny if you uh, uh, followed the political debate uh, both in St. Maarten and also in the Netherlands and the interaction in the last weeks where as it looked like there was a, a huge tension and of course I, I can't ignore that there are any tensions but um, um, they, we will overcome them, uh, I'm, I'm sure, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's for sure. So I think that's, that gives an, a perspective of what, what we are doing here, uh, what I am doing here with, with my delegation. Um, um, Chris referred away this afternoon we are going to, uh, to meet uh, the people of St. Martin. I met some of them already, but uh, we will see where they uh, are and how they suffer uh, uh, of, the, of the hurricane. And uh, together with also with the chairman of the Reconstruction Fund uh, Committee, sorry, the Reconstruction Committee, 
Mr. Richardson, uh, uh, who I met uh, previous to, to this meeting. Um, it's necessary to determine the first projects that can be executed uh, in a short while. So uh, that, that it, it will be clear also to the people of St. Martin that, uh, that we are not uh, uh, discussing about procedures and bureaucrats, but that we are delivering. That's my uh, goal for the next years, to deliver, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to give a new impulse to the relation between St. Martin and, uh, and, uh, and the Netherlands, which is a relation which sometimes uh, um, uh, is under, uh, let's say, uh, difficult, uh, say that? under moeilijke, uh, moeilijke, uh, stressful relationship. Yeah, the stern uh, is taking place, um, but uh, challenges have to, have to be overcome. That's my commitment. Hey guys, did you know that now with Telcel, if you accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month, you get 15 more? 15 more? Yes, 15 more. However you want. So I can top up $3 now, $10 next week, and so on until I reach or pass $25? That's right. Get 15 more. Wow! I feel like a 15 again. Yeah. Right. Accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month and get 15 more. Tell sell when you want more. GEBE has been faithfully serving the communities of St. Martin, powering your home and our economy. Come rain or shine, our qualified team of professionals are working hard 24 hours a day to provide you and your family with safe, reliable electricity and water. We use the latest technologies and test our products daily to maintain the highest international standards. Our friendly staff is always there to assist you whether in person, over the phone or online. We are committed to constantly improving our products and services, making them more efficient, effective and environmentally friendly to serve you better today and our next generation of clients tomorrow. GEBE, -E, powering a brighter future. Our friend Mega Wadi is here with tips to save you energy. One, turn your air code temperature up. Two, use a ceiling fan instead. Three, buy energy saving products. Save some green with NV. Parliament who are out there fighting for the people of St. Martin. I didn't hear them condemn it. I didn't hear them condemn it. But what would be interesting is, where is the free mandate of our members of parliament when they are told, take it or leave it? This is what you will accept, and you are not allowed to make any changes to it. Then you become a rubber stamp of a Dutch politician or Dutch technocrats they're enforcing their will upon you. You do not have the right to say, I don't agree with this for that reason. Because if you disagree, we will punish the people of St. Martin by withholding aid that we have promised them. So to use that to play on the emotions of the people of St. Martin and then uh, aided by those who want, want political vengeance against William Mann, want to get in power at any cost. Some of the same very politicians who stood up in parliament and spoke out in no uncertain terms about how the Dutch were after them and their families. And today, would join hands with the government, with the Dutch, to get rid of William Allen because he dares to speak out and to stand up against what he believes in. I'm not saying goodbye. I'm not leaving. I am resigning. Uh, I have done so already, but I as I said, a Lanzibus Light, a national decree, will be sent to the governor asking him to dismiss the prime minister since the governor, because um, I told him 
I have already resigned. I have already made my position available since the 2nd of November. But I don't want this battle to continue and to drag on because um, if one would listen carefully to what is being said, the so-called instruction is for the governor to promote the departure of William Marlin because they cannot, the Dutch government cannot fire William Marlin because William Marlin has not done anything wrong. There was a motion of no confidence by the majority and what I have done is what every prime minister and minister should have done. We submitted our resignation the same day, unlike Marcel Gums, who took probably a month trying to battle and hide and, 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 and avoid. Um, so no, so, so don't blame William Marlin because he is refusing to. I did never refuse to. Um, what am I leaving behind? Or what was my contribution? When we look at where we were after the political turmoils of 2010 and after, um, in 2000, St. Martin voted to become a country. I have been in opposition from 2000. And from 2000 to 2009, while I was in opposition, promises were made one after the other, election after election, that separate status was coming, that St. Martin was becoming a country, and it never happened. And then we had a change of government in 2009. We had an election in 2010. And the first thing I did was broker the 10-10-10 agreement for St. Martin to become country in October 10, 2010. And what was the reaction of the leader of the Democratic Party then? Go and research it. Unattainable. It can't happen. Not in one year. And when they realized that things were moving, then everybody wanted to get on board the bandwagon. And in January 2010, when we went to the polls for the last parliament of the Netherlands Antilles, William Ireland and the National Alliance swept all three seats. We had the confidence and the support of the people of St. Martin. September 2010, we got the highest number of votes any political party ever got in St. Martin. We fell short, I think, 180 votes to win outright. We won seven seats. And that same night, the same night of the election, we already had ship jumping taking place. We went in opposition. This building that we are standing here in today was delivered to the, people, to the government of St. Martin nine years. Well, by now, it's like 11 years ago. And it was standing there unfinished, uninhabited. I called it the largest pigeon cob in the world and the most expensive one. I called it the white elephant with a green cap. And when I got in government, I committed to the people of St. Martin. We will complete this building and we will move in. And we did so. But we also, it wasn't about this building alone. We met financial chaos in St. Martin. We didn't have a budget for 2015 and we didn't have a draft budget 2016. We enforced financial discipline. We presented a budget 2016. It was approved by parliament, by the CFT, and it ended with a surplus. We presented a balanced budget for 2017, or rather 2017, uh, I think 2016 I think had a surplus as well. But 2017 budget was balanced, was also approved by the CFT. And we presented a bu bu budget for 2018 in time, before the hurricane. And that too was balanced. We met a huge debt. We met a huge debt to APS, our pension fund, and to SSV, our Signature Insurance Bank. 
And that too, we cleared up. I inherited the confusion at our postal services where the former Prime Minister, Sir Westcott Williams, leader of the Democratic Party, in the transition, in taking it over, allowed Curacao to basically give St. Martin a bad deal. And we were stuck with huge debts and we were stuck with an apparatus that was inefficient. And just yesterday, I had another meeting again with the APS director. Because what it is we are trying to do, uh, basically sell the property to APS. APS will build on that location, just like here, where SV completed this building for government and owns it and we are renting it from them. APS would build a new parliament building and would lease it to government for parliament's use for 30 years. APS, our pension fund, will make money from it. Government will have a new parliament building and we would have solved the problem with the post office. Why? Because the proceeds from the sales would be able to close off that financial quagmire that was left behind. This month, the post office can't pay their staff and we're finding a solution for it as part of the entire package. And the company that is running the postal services for the best islands, we have been in discussions with them. Government would have given them a concession in order uh, for them to be able to continue to provide postal services. We do not need a post office the size of what we have anymore. Postal services all over the world have been downgraded and downsized because there is so much more competition. Uh, to begin with, people don't send as many letters as before. People use emails and WhatsApp and all kind of other stuff. But also, packages are sent via DHL, via uh, Western Union, money is transferred. Um, um, we have Rapidito, we have all kind of mail services and mailbox services, so the use of the postal services has decreased. But to remain on, 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 on track, um, these are things that our government had been busy with. So did we have a good government? Absolutely yes. Did we have a government uh, of integrity with ministers who worked hard? Absolutely yes. So as I said, I am not quitting, I am not leaving. And for those who, because I said that for the new elections, when they were to be in January, that the deputy leader, Mr. Silveria Jacobs, would be heading the list, immediate reaction again on Facebook, oh, National Alliance, get rid of William Marlin. Again, it was agreed since in the Congress of 2014 that in 2018, I would have been celebrating 40 years of uninterrupted political involvement and that I would step back and Silveria Jacobs would become the leader of the party. Um, and I stuck to the promise. In 2016, uh, we had asked her to head the list because of health reasons. She said she would rather not at that time. And in 2017, when we dissolved parliament or took the decision to dissolve parliament, I told her, ready or not, the seat is yours, um, let's get ready to rumble. So those who would want to say that the National Alliance rejected William Marlin, absolutely not. And some of those who are screaming the loudest, they have been rejected by their party and would want to continue to hold on uh, to the reins of power.
Cross St. Martin are switching to a more rewarding experience. The Whip MasterCard Fun Miles Credit Card, better known as My Card. Earn one fun mile for every $2 spent, even abroad and online. This will quickly get you a ton of fun miles to redeem for travel, shopping, food, fuel, and much more. But there's more to My Card worldwide acceptance, an EMV chip for extra security, and 250 free fun miles with first use. Switch to My Card today at Whip. Hey guys, did you know that now with Telcel, if you accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month, you get 15 more? 15 more? Yes, 15 more. However you want. So I can top up $3 now, $10 next week, and so on until I reach or pass $25? That's right. Get 15 more. Wow! I feel like a 15 again. Yeah. Right. Accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month and get 15 more. Tell Cell when you want more. It's been said that behind every door, possibility awaits. How much possibility depends on which door you open first. Every day, we help our customers discover the possibilities in their lives. It all starts with a conversation. Scotiabank. Discover what's possible. The country's tourism economy is brutalized not only by Irma and lawless looters, but by the horror stories painted by international media houses. Personnel from news agencies in Europe and North America swoop down on the hottest news ticket of the time, Sim Martin. The majority of those coming in knew nothing about the country prior to Irma, nor had they ever been up close and personal with the aftermath of a hurricane, let alone the worst hurricane in history. Well, it's an emotional thing, Ricardo. It's an emotional thing. You know, and, and, and there's a saying that goes, years to grow and minutes to go. And that is what happened. So you can imagine it took you 10, 12, 15 years to finally build your so-called dream house. And then a couple of hours, it was all destroyed and all gone. So I can understand that emotional part of it that people feel. However, the reality needs to, be, needs to set in. That look, listen, this is what it is, but here's where we are going to go from here. And as a government and, and in the position that I am, I want to be able to facilitate and help people to get back up and running as quick as possible and in a manner that is also affordable to them. You have a situation here with your shop that um, you were over flooded. Can you tell me exactly how that happened to you? Yes, the tunnel by next to the shop that you see go through the alley. Mm -hmm. The water back up from the power of the ground sea. The water keep building up on the streets. And, the store. and how, many, how many days did it take you to clean? At least four days. And how many inches of water was in your store? At least six to eight inches. Right. So you got a lot of mud and, and sea water and all of that in the store? Sea water. A lot of sea water. Do a lot of damage to your goods? Yes. Uh, everything on the floor, we have it done. Everything was done. Okay, and now you're, you're okay now? Yes, yes. The day, the, yesterday was the first day we opened that thing. Mm. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. 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 I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. C'est pour cela que nous pouvons chanter. Your grace and mercy ta grâce et ta miséricorde brought me through. nous a emmenés ici. I'm living this moment 
Je vis en ce moment à cause de toi. Je veux te louer et je te remercie également. Ta grâce et ta miséricorde nous emmenaient ici. I want, before saying anything here today, to acknowledge and recognize 11 persons that passed away during Irma. 14 in total, but 11 during Irma. I would like to give them the least that we can do. Of course, our condolences to all those that were relatives, friends, family of those persons. We would like to extend myself, my island council, the employees of the collectivity, the entire St. Martin, the warmness and the comfort, the condolence that we can give and try and keep the pain aside to all of you. That the condition this hurricane put us into, churches being break down, houses being break down, people without roof, we believe that we needed a gathering to be with each other like we used to be before. Because if we believe, like I saw it on the Facebook, St. Martin will rise again. Well, before St. Martin rise, it's we the people that will make the necessary for this island to come back on its legs. Hurricane Lewis put us one knee down, but we got the next one to put us up. And that's by holding hands to hands, not criticizing, talking to each other, understanding the other one. We as government, And when I say government, I'm talking about the employees, I'm talking about the elected members, again, all parties included. We did what we thought would be the best for this island and the people. We could not extend our wins as far as we wanted it. We did not probably touch all those that we wanted to touch, but we did everything that we had in our capacity after you know what we went through.